Hey, beautiful people. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about the five benefits of being child free. According to me, my name is Jara, and I'm so happy that you're here. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and like, comment, and share this video with someone that you feel needs to see it. All right, so the first thing that comes to mind that I want to talk about is your bravery, your willingness to go against the quote unquote norm of society that tells us that we need to have children in order to build a legacy, to make an impact on the world, whatever, whatever, yada, 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 you know the story. So I commend you for your bravery, for your, you know, for your courage to go against societal norms. So that's the first benefit It's just, you know, you blazing your own trail, deciding what's best for you and not listening to what people tell you you should do with your own life, with your with your own uterus, with your own sperm, whatever. So yes, I commend you for your bravery. That's the first benefit, you know, again, just driving the point home that you're a trailblazer, you think for yourself, you know what's best for you. And I think that's amazing. So the second benefit is, of course, the freedom and flexibility that we have with our time. Um, you know, we can just get up and go when we want to. We don't have to worry about all the, the stress and additional time and the nuances of, you know, getting a child together to go put them in a car seat, put them in a, um, uh, what you call them things, a stroller. <laughs> um, also, when they get into the store, you got to put them in, strap them into the, the cart or the buggy or whatever. Um, just a whole lot of things. And then when you want to take vacations, you have to wait until, you know, they're on their spring break or summer break or fall break or whatever they have in school. You can just, you know, as a child-free person, get up and going when you want to. You have the flexibility also too to make other decisions in terms of moving across state or even um, to another country. You can just make those decisions as well without having to factor in someone else's needs, wants, and desires. Uh, the third thing that I want to talk about is a huge benefit of being child-free is that it's limited stress. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that child-free people, we don't experience stress because we do. So speaking for myself as a child-free person, there were some things I had to work through in terms of dealing with a whole lot of stress with my former job and jobs, plural, that I had in the past. Um, other things too that I don't want to discuss right now, but child-free people, we do experience stress, but not the stress that comes with having a child, with having a quote-unquote family of our own, okay? Because I do want to say that child-free people, we do have families. We just don't have the traditional family, okay? So yeah, th just the limited stress that we experience as a result of just essentially looking out and caring for ourselves and others that are close to us. Um, the fourth benefit of being child-free is the fact that we save a lot more money. Um, again, speaking for myself, not having to pay for childcare, not having to pay for tuition at school, not having to pay for these random um, visits to the hospital. Let's say if my child were to get sick or to catch the flu or were to have an accident at home or at school, the emergency room costs and the um, costs, you know, if they were to get in the ambulance, things like that. Just certain things tend to add up when you have a child, and that's something we don't have to worry about because we're child-free. Um, and then the last benefit of being child-free is, you know, essentially we have more time, as I mentioned with point number two, that freedom and flexibility, but it does take a village to raise a child, right? Um, so we do have that you know, additional time to, I guess, every now and then to fill in as a babysitter for, you know, a good friend of ours or sister or brother who may need some help with their child or just wants a, like a night off or a weekend off. We can come in, fill in, be that auntie, be that uncle to, you know, be part of that village to help take care of that child because we're not bogged down with our own child. We do have that additional time to um, devote to taking care of our niece or our nephew. 
or any other child that is close to us, whether it be a uh, cousin or um, like a friend's child or something like that, like if you're a godmother or a godfather, we do have that additional time to set aside to be the, um, like I said, the part of the village to help raise someone else's child or to um, just take them away for the weekend or take them on a summer vacation, something like that. So that's a huge benefit right there because we all need help. Parents need help. And um, for those of us that love children like myself, I love well-behaved children. <laughs> I don't mind watching them if they're beyond the age of four or five. Um, yeah, I don't mind babysitting every now and then. So yeah, that's just something that is a huge benefit to us and also to parents um, because we do have that additional time to set aside to be the, I guess, second or third parent or the part of the village, as I explained earlier. So those are my five benefits to being child-free, according to my own opinion. If you have something you want to add down below in the comments, feel free to do so. I love to hear what you want to add to this conversation. And if you uh, felt this video was relatable, Make sure you share it with another child-free person and let's get the uh, community going and growing. We're almost at 1,500 followers. I'm sorry, 1,500 subscribers. <laughs> and um, be on the lookout for the child-free book that's coming out later this fall. And I'll let you know more information as that um, project comes to a close. But yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.